that huge turntable of evil, the Rokaku building is a pile of dust, right along with the Rokaku scheme. Now they're saying that the building was destroyed in a construction accident. Yeah, right. But now, Goji's son is taking over the Rokaku family business, and Tokyo is back to its glorious old self. Turns out that the Golden Rhinos were just another group of Goji's henchmen. That explains a lot. However, not all ended well. Coin had been pulled too deep into the schemes of the Rakaku and paid a steep price. And all because Goji was obsessed with control. He didn't know how to deal with people that he couldn't buy with his money. Maybe he really is lonely at the top. Or maybe he's just another eccentric millionaire. Well, they say that money is the root of all evil. Maybe it really can twist the hearts of men. It turns out the record that Goji was looking for, the Devil's Contract, was just an old indie record, a hoax. Maybe his twisted mind created the whole story out of rumors and superstitions in order to try and sate the demons of his own heart. Nevertheless, the noise tanks are in repair. The love shockers are all brokenhearted again, but Poison Jam is back and planning more mischief. In the end, it looks like they were the same as all of us after all. They've been looking for something more, just trying to make sense of their own lives. Perhaps not, but how can anyone know the real truth behind it all? Look at the fuck.
What's that? You think I just made all that up? <laughs> sure, sure, okay. But watch out. Someone just might have their sights on Shibuya Cho again. On the street, there's no such thing as... Jet Set Radio!
Yeah! yeah.